Adrian Rich was born on May 16, 1929 in Baltimore, Maryland. She married Alfred H. Conrad, a Harvard University economist, in 1953. In 1955, she published her second volume of poetry, The Diamond Cutters. Randall Jarrell had this to say about the poems. The poet behind these poems cannot help seeming to us a sort of princess in a fairy tale. The content of her work became increasingly controversial, exploring such themes as women's role in society, racism, and the Vietnam War. The style of these poems also reveal a shift from careful metric patterns to free verse. In 1970, Rich left her husband, who committed suicide later that year. It was in 1973, in the midst of the feminist and civil rights movements, the Vietnam War, and her own personal distress, that Rich wrote Diving in the Wreck, a collection of exploratory and often angry poems, which garnered her the National Book Award in 1974. Rich accepted the award on behalf of all women and shared it with her fellow nominees, Alice Walker and Audre Lorde. About her work, the poet W.S. Merwin has said, All her life she has been in love with the hope of telling utter truth, and her command of language from the first has been startlingly powerful. Rich has received the Bowling Gin Prize, the Lannan Lifetime Achievement Award, the Academy of American Poets Fellowship, the Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize, the Lenore Marshall Poetry Prize, the National Book Award, and a MacArthur Fellowship. She is also a former Chancellor of the Academy of American Poets. In 1997, she refused the National Medal of Arts, stating that, I could not accept such an award from President Clinton or this White House because the very meaning of art, as I understand it, is incompatible with the cynical politics of this administration. She went on to say, Art means nothing if it simply decorates the dinner table of the power which holds it hostage. Adrian Rich currently resides in California and has since 1984. Rape, a poem by Adrian Rich, as read by Grace. There is a cop who is both prowler and father. He comes from your block, grew up with your brothers, had certain ideals. You hardly know him in his boots and silver badge, on horseback, one hand touching his gun. You hardly know him, but you have to get to know him. He has access to machinery that could kill you. He and his stallion clop like warlords among the trash. His ideals stand in the air a frozen cloud from between his unsmiling lips. And so, when the time comes, you have to turn to him. The maniac's sperm still greasing your thighs. Your mind whirls like crazy. You have to confess to him. You are guilty of the crime of having been forced. And you see his blue eyes the blue eyes of all the family whom you used to know grow narrow and glisten. His hand types out the details, and he wants them all, but the hysteria in your voice pleases him best. You hardly know him, but now he thinks he knows you. He has taken down your worst moments on a machine and filed it in a file. He knows, or thinks he knows, how much you imagined. He knows, or thinks he knows, what you secretly wanted. He has access to machinery that could get you put away. And if, in the sickening light of the precinct, and if, in the sickening light of the precinct, your details sound like a portrait of your confessor, will you swallow? Will you deny them? Will you lie your way home? <laughs>